It's time for story time with Oma Mary. Today I'm going to read a book, The Rabbit Listened. I may have read it before, but it is worth repeating, especially now when we need to learn to listen to people. The Rabbit Listened. One day, Taylor decided to build something, something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, but then out of nowhere, And out of nowhere, things came crashing down. That's how it feels in Minneapolis right now. Things have come crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Clock, clock. What a shame. I'm so, so sorry. Sorry this happened. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Clock, clock. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. How horrible, I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Bada! I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant left. One by one they came. The hyena, <laughs> let's laugh about it. The ostrich, gloop. Let's hide and pretend nothing happened. Well, that works, doesn't it? The kangaroo, tsk tsk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. Hmm. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved slower and closer and closer and Taylor could feel its warm body. Together they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. 
The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide and throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, said Taylor, to build again. It's going to be amazing. I see my children and their friends and many people going into Minneapolis, protesting what has happened, but cleaning up the streets, feeding people, providing human necessities, and we will build again. But we need to build with everybody at the table. And we need to listen. <laughs>